Ah. Hi friends. My flies undone. I'm still waiting on my nice bronze. In lieu of not having a decent video, uh, I have just done, finished a painting, the person who's commissioned it, until they've given it to that person. I don't really want to upload it to YouTube in case a friend of a friend tells a friend, you know, that kind of thing, I don't know. I don't want to spoil the surprise, so. I will say though, it's a dog. So it's a lovely painting, I'm very pleased with it. You guys will have to wait before you can see that. But I thought today, there's an hour of light left. Um, so having just finished the painting, Oh God, my beard is massive. This is coming off soon. I've just been super lazy, that's why it's got so big. I'm gonna start the Woodpecker S-Box. I've got two logs, I'm gonna try, try and make one now and just see how it goes. I thought I'd do it outside for change as it's a bit grey and miserable. I should have tidied up that... Uh... Woo. huge so the whole concept is drill a big core out and then pop a little entrance hole there that's sort of big enough for a woodpecker to notice it and get interested perhaps he'll he'll make it a bit bigger for himself apparently uh, woodpeckers are much more likely to nest in a box if they've had a little bit of a go at building it themselves Too dark, too dark, try again another day. deep if that is the bottom of the hole sort of chop it there and then put this slice on the top and sort of pin or nail it somehow to the top here and then we've got a void in a log and then I'll tr drill a little hole here just one little hole and hopefully that will be enticing enough for the woodpecker to have a go at all. Okay, I can't see uh, anything because the sun's in my eyes, but it's much more manageable now, you know, it's liftable, whereas before it was a huge great thing. It's got a lovely inch and a half, inch and a quarter lid, and I'll put a skin of lead over that that will go down over this edge. 
and then I've just got to figure out a way of supporting it safely so that the uh, so it doesn't come down in a storm. All right, here is a perfect bit of lead. Exposure. Let's do that. Now, this is galvanized steel wire, and I do have my longest drill bit is just thick enough, I think. So, I, I think my plan will be to, at an angle, go down the side, poke out the bottom and then up in like a, a, a V, like a U. I just don't want it to fall down in a storm, so I'm gonna make it overly engineered. that was to being out. I wonder if I can bang it with a hammer. This would never normally work. Let's see. Come on. There! Oh my goodness! Look at that! How lucky! So somehow I need to get that out and now also this out. <laughs> well this hopefully I can spin out. This, I don't know how I'm going to get that out. Carefully. Let's try this one. Yeah, it seems to be working. Perfect. Right, now let's hope I can get this one out. Now if I want to be super fancy, I can make a little channel in there. Basically, I'm going to thread this big old hoop through there. Oh, I wonder. There we go. So, that is going to go through there. There we go. Perfect. 
Beautiful. Right. Now, I've got a really secure method of holding it. Now I can always move these. Perfect. Alright, now when the lid goes on, it's 35 deep. I think that's plenty. I'm going to put a few um, few big bits of little bits of wood in there so that the uh, woodpecker can pretend he's dug it out. Only the little bits. I don't want them to be too big. It's not a puzzle. <laughs> he needs to be able to get them through the hole. Might also drill a couple of holes before I put the lid on for drainage, just in case. Here we go. Last little look. Looks nice and comfy in there. I put some uh, big shavings. Should be good. All right. Now I've got these giant screws. I won't put the holes near the entrance hole. This is just to keep the lid on. It's not uh, needed structurally, of course. Alright, pretty good. Booty fall. Now the roof. Now let's have a look at that. It's a bit too uh, simple for my liking. Um, now I'd quite like to um, make a fold, just a small one. I don't know how doable that is. I mean, it'll have to be small, otherwise it won't be worth doing. Uh, maybe not even worth doing, maybe just a lip, but because of that, it might be worth me doing a gentle curve and then quite a severe cut that way. Let's draw that out. Uh, 
Ah, done. Now I just need to uh, do these and we'll put it up in the tree. Let's hope it works. Should keep the rain out of the hole. Or well, the worst of it. A little bit of rain won't matter. Oh, it's gone all cloudy. Hey! God, it's heavy. Very good. Pleased with that. So this is the tree. On the other side of the hedge, I'd like to put it up at about so somewhere but around this level. All right, let's see how far my ladder can go. This thing's really heavy. Little exploratory uh, look first. I'm gonna take everything around the other side. See how high I can get. Some of these branches are a bit rotten. Okay, I've moved down the, uh, the lane a little. So I don't know if you can see it, but there is the tree, I think. Uh, yes, there, that one. And if I rotate round, there's the house. I want to be able to see the nest box. But the other one would have to be a lot lower. And the tree, I mean, on this one, I'm attaching it to almost the main trunk. Well, to, you know, the, the limb coming off the main trunk, right at it, at the uh, junction. So it'd be super strong. The one behind me that is closer to the house and might serve a better view is going to be half of the height off the ground. I don't know what this one looks like it blends in well the other one will hang a bit like a an actual birdhouse and I'm not sure the peckers like the idea of birdhouses I think they like the idea of logs and trees so I think I'll go with this one and I've put the other lens on so hopefully you can see it more clearly that's about 25 foot up and about 60 feet away hopefully I can get up there
what it really looks like. It's pretty dark. That's so nice. I'm just going to uh, do a bit of clearing up now. Can you still see it? Hopefully. There we go. That's pretty good. So that should be the view from the sitting room or better. So uh, what I'll do in, this, in the spring and summer is point this long lens at the woodpecker box and try and catch some nice footage of parent woodpeckers and baby woodpeckers, that kind of thing. That's assuming that they like it. They might not like it. It's worth a try. Oh, where is it? There. Hi! Subscribe, share, watch it with your dog. Give it a thumbs up. See you soon, guys. Bye.